Hello boys and girls, it's me again, Trusty Panda, and as you can see, we are back again on the F123, ready to pick up where we ended our last video. We are going to the next chapter, so let's get going. The Japanese Grand Prix, several weeks later, and we are back on the F1, I see. We have some team boss orders again. Hey boss, got another one for you. Okay, so we missed some key sales at the past couple Grand Prix to merchandise stock levels, but demand is high. Pre-order for future stocks are looking fantastic. So, let's see. We have some news again. We have some socials again. And we have an incoming phone call from Davidov. So, let's get this phone call. Davidov? Hold on. Just uh, thought I'd call for a catch up. Wait, wait, wait. What time is it where you are? Doesn't matter. I wanted to report before the race. Ah, right. I did ask them to send across all the data to you. Perhaps they forgot. I'll make sure to. Um... No, no, no. I've got it all here. Busy man, Andrea. I don't have time to read all that. How's it all look? Uh, the car is running well, data solid, whole team seems confident, and based on the forecasts, we're sticking to the original tie strategy as we discussed, so we'll see. Good. And the boys? Keeping to themselves, so no fireworks. Aiden's been a little quiet, but that's usually a good sign before a race. And Devon's... Uh... Uh, I've already spoken to Devon, he's good to go. Oh. Right. Well, keep up the good work. Good luck. I'm sure we'll speak after. Okay, so that was the phone call. Now let's get to the race. Some team boss coming in again. Hey boss, got a couple of minutes? Okay, so let's see. The film are testing. Uh, as usual with the movie industry, has been delayed in the production, so the filming will take next season just for the Spanish Grand Prix uh, what should we prioritize so well if the film is moving to next year I will put testing in front of the movie so now here we go boys and girls to the Japanese Grand Prix We are going straight into racing. Eight laps remaining. Okay, mate, I need you to push before the pit window opens. Push, push. Overtake Bottas before lap eight. So here we go. We are now racing. Where is Bottas? A little bit of the grass there. Whoa, 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 whoa. We were losing the car. Oh, that's a hard chicane. Okay, you're in the top ten. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not having control of the car at this time. As you can see, I'm struggling with the car now. Contact with signs. Ooh, contact again. This is not going as I want to be racing. Okay, we are now here with Bottas. Already putting the action on Bottas. Bottas. 
Another pit stop here at Suzuka. This time it's Aiden Jackson coming in. He's been making steady progress today, and Connor Sport need him to. They desperately need some results. And they could do without this, and look, there's chaos in that garage. Absolutely, only three wheels on the car at the moment, Crofty. Aiden Jackson looks on in despair. Here comes that spare wheel now. That's a long, long time to wait, just sat in the cockpit. What is going on down at Connor Sport? Well, the tyre is finally out of the garage and on the car, and Aiden Jackson's back out in the race, but it's a long time in the pit, and that will cost them dearly. So, oh, yeah, my team there uh, screwed up the pit stop. What was that? How many places did I lose? Okay, try not to worry about that, Aiden. Just focus on the race, get your head down, and let's put it back. Uh, I'm sick of this! So we need to get ready for racing. Really attacking Lando Norris now. We are Gasly now. Brilliant, nice move. Keep going. Here is Sonoda now. Coming in fast inside of Sonoda. The wheel to wheel with Sonoda. Late. Oh no, I had to let him go. I had to let him go, otherwise, he would crash there. That's a good chicane exit. Fast uh, Sonoda now. Okay, gap to the car ahead is 1.7 seconds. Here we got signs now. Bottles is coming up as well. There we go. Much better controlling of the car now. Oh look, it's my teammate. Go already past them. So let's see, we are now currently on P7. We have now Hamilton and Ocon in front of us. They are fighting each other now. Does that give me room to uh, join that fight? Ooh, Hamilton came to the inside, almost uh, made contact there with him. Ocon is now defending his position. Fighting there with Ocon now. Oh, yep, we hit Ocon. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. So as you can see, I'm not really 100% clean racing. We have sometimes contact with cars. I'm trying to avoid that. I'm trying to give you some nice racing. 
So let's see, Russell is up next. That Mercedes is flying over the straight. Again, good chicane exit there. We are now very close to Russell. DRS, let's attack him. We are past Russell now. Let's see who we got here. That's uh, Leclerc. Catching very fast with Leclerc. Gonna slow a little bit down. We are on the outside of Leclerc. Little bit of uh, wheel spin there. Throwing the pack away in a corner. So let's see, we are now headed against the Red Bulls, Paris and Verstappen. So here we already got Paris flying past that Red Bull. But he's coming nice back, work, he hooked up the speed. I'm gonna let him go. I don't want to crash the car. Let's see if we can get a good chicane here again. That's good for me. I can take DRS now. Already gonna make a move before we got DRS. Where is he? Oh, he's coming back again. He got the speed. We got Paris now, only one car ahead of us. And that's a world championship, Max Verstappen. Here we go, already catching up. Take okay, care for now. Oh, sorry, pushed the wrong button there. Little bit uh, off my charts there because I pushed the wrong button. Okay, here we go now. Again, fighting with Max now. Let's see where we can put the attack on Max. Gonna put the attack now on Max. There we go. We got him. But that Red Bull is fast. A little bit wider through the chicane. So we are now left 12. We're running P1 at the moment. Got a little bit off the track there, losing some time. No, almost lost the car. Almost lost the car there again. I need to watch out with where I take uh, my curves. Uh, where I go over the curves because a wrong, wrong move can cost me some places.
Okay, we now got six seconds out of first stop and now. But six seconds is not enough if you make a mistake. We are approaching back markers again. Just like we did in a previous video okay, with uh, Kelly. Final lap, of the race. Final, lap. final lap, last lap. Gap to your teammate behind is 24.8 seconds. Almost lost the car there again, as you probably wouldn't see on the screen. So here we got here, it's Latifi. Can you please move out of the way, Latifi? Thank you. Oh, again. I'm forgetting that I have uh, a controller with back pedals on it for uh, when I played Call of Duty. And uh, yeah, now I sometimes push that controller. So I have to uh, remember to uh, disable those uh, features. That is not happening again. So, sorry for uh, that again, boys and girls. Okay, we've only got one lap of fuel remaining. So here we go, we will be bringing home the Japanese Grand Prix. If everything goes well. We are coming out to the chicane now. Oh, lost the car there again. But here we go, checkered flag, winning the Japanese Grand Prix. close to call at the top of the table. Meanwhile, at the other end, Ant, you can really understand Aiden Jackson's frustrations today. Yeah, they've had car problems all season long, Crofty. They've had a bad mix-up in the garage today. Connor Sport won't be proud of that one. And Connor Sport won't be proud of that. It's the longest pit stop we've had this season. Not the sort of record any team wants to set. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. Well, Aidan, I'm sure you already know what I'm going to ask. That pit stop looked like a nightmare. So what on earth happened today? Well, the pit stop clearly is a problem in the pit, but all I can do is focusing on my driving. Every race has his hiccups. The rest of the team needs to get the act together. Uh, I'm going to go with the problem in the pits. <coughs> uh, I guess the truth is, Natalie, the only thing I can focus on is my driving. There was clearly a problem out there today, and I'm sure we'll find out what happened. Next question. Well, there is a lot of talk on social media about whether Devon is actually getting preferential treatment by the team. So do you think, is there any truth to that, or is it an unfair assumption? I'm going to go on this question that his dad may be funding the team, but we are treated uh, equally. It's a good question. Davidoff Butler may be funding the team, but he's a good man. He, he works hard to make sure that everyone's equal, so no, I don't think so. Well, Aiden, the list seems to get longer. Car reliability, you and Devon bumping wheels, and now issues in the pit lane. Huge mounting problems at Connor Sport. Has there been any talk at all about what the team might do next season, considering that you and Devon just don't seem to get along? I'm open for offers to the next season. 
or who knows what the future will bring. Right now, it's all about Kronos. I will go with that answer. Yeah, I've been thinking about next season, but who knows what the future will bring. At the moment, it's all about Connor Sport and bringing in as many points as I can. And finally, I've got to ask you about this. It has been reported that Mercedes have agreed a deal for George Russell to play a small part in the latest Throttle Zone movie. What do you make of that? Uh, I'm gonna say George has got a lot to offer outside of the world of F1. <laughs> I've always thought George would make a great actor, actually. I mean... He's got his own suit, he's ready for the red carpet. He's got a lot to offer outside of the F1 world, so um, yeah, I'm pleased that he's finally getting the chance to show us all what he's, what he's got. Thank you so much for your time. So let's see, post-race, chapter five now. So we got some news again, stuck in the pits, some socials again. An incoming from phone call from Davidov again, so let's accept this phone call. Talk to me. About what? You saw the race, right? What is there to say? Thought you could do with blowing off a little steam. <laughs> what is even the point in wasting any more energy? If it's not the car, it's the team. If it's not the team, it's the car. No one seems to care how much effort I'm putting into all of this. Which is why you need to double down. Listen, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but... The top three are talking, Aiden. What? What? They've already reached out to us. Looks like there might be some last-minute negotiations on the cards, but... Keep that to yourself, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. No doubt there'll be some wrangling. You're contracted for another season, but your... Uh, tenacity has been noticed. Wow, uh... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything you're not supposed to know. I hate to admit it, but Connor Sport can't keep up with you, Aiden. Just do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. What is it? I need you to push as hard as you can to get as much out of you before I lose you to a better team. Can you do that for me? Of course. No problem. Good boy. You know I'm here whenever you need me. Speak soon. Okay, so that was an interesting phone call. We have the top three talking about me, but of course we will give everything for Kroner Sport. Uh, so, yeah. Boys and girls, we come to the end of our chapter now once again, so thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time again. So, yep, yeah, goodbye.